Welcome to our lesson on finding the roots of a quadratic equation and the coordinate of a turning point, both by completing the square. So we're going to find the roots of this quadratic function, which are the values of x when y equals zero, so the two points are marking here, and the coordinate of a turning point, which is here. And the turning point is when we change from a negative gradient going downwards to a positive gradient going upwards. And to do this, we're going to complete the square. We'll begin with function a, where we have x squared plus 6x minus 2. And to complete the square, we need to make it equal to 0. So we'll begin by creating the square, which is x. And then we have the coefficient of b, which in this case is half of 6. So it is x plus 3. And when we square this, we need to see what happens. So we have x plus 3 multiplied by itself. And when you expand these two brackets, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now here we have an unwanted 9 term. So we need to take away this 9 from our square. And this is completing the square. So now we have x squared plus 6x. So we need to take away the 2. And we can write this out as x plus 3 squared minus 11 is equal to 0. And from this point, we can work out the coordinate of a turning point. At a turning point, this is the minimum value this function can possibly have. And if we look at what's happening here, when we square any number, the result can never be negative, which means the lowest this could possibly be is 0. And for this to be 0, x has to equal negative 3. So when this does equal 0, we have 0 take away 11, which is negative 11. So if x is negative 3, y is negative 11. By continuing to make x the subject of this equation. So we'll add 11 to both sides, and we have x plus 3 squared is equal to 11. We'll take the square root of both sides, so x plus 3 is plus or minus the square root of 11, and then x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 11. So that tells you that when y is 0, this value of x is minus 3 take away root 11, and this value of x is minus 3 plus root 11. So here we have found the two roots and the coordinate of a turning point, all by completing the square. Okay, let's move on to question B. So for question B, again, we're going to make the quadratic equal 0. So we have 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 is 0. And we need to make the value of a, in this case 2, 1, to create a complete square. So we're going to factorise the left-hand side to make this expression. So we have two lots of x squared minus x take away the 1 is equal to 0. And I'm going to complete the square of this expression here. So we have two lots of x and minus the coefficient of x, which is minus 1 half, all squared. And to complete the square, I'm taking away a quarter. And this is all multiplied by the 2. Take away the 1 is equal to 0. And I'm going to expand up the brackets. So we have two lots of x minus a half squared. And when I multiply the 2 by the quarter, we have minus 1 half. And then I'm taking away the 1 to get to 0. And I can simplify this equation here. So we have two lots of x minus a half minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. And from here, I can work out a turning point, which is this point here. This part of the equation must be zero, so x will be equal to a half. And when this point equals zero, all of this is zero, and then we get y equals negative three over two. So then we can carry on solving the equation to find the coordinates of the two roots. So I'm going to add three over two to both sides. These will cancel. I'll divide both sides by two. These will cancel. We can take the square root of both sides. 
And then finally, we can add the half to both sides. So this root will be 1 minus root 3 over 2. And this one, 1 plus root 3 over 2. So here we have a sketch of a function in question C. Do you want to find the coordinates of the turning point and the two roots by completing the square? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we begin by making the equation equal to zero. I'm going to factorize these two terms to give me x squared. And then I can complete the square from this part. And I can expand this bracket out. So we have three lots of x minus one, and then take away the three. Take away the 2 to make 0. So this tells us that the turning point has an x value of 1 and a y value of negative 5. And now we can continue solving the equation to find the two roots. So 3 lots of x minus 1 squared is equal to 5. We'll divide both sides by 3. So x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 over 3. So x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 3, which tells us this root is at 1 minus root 5 over 3, and this is at 1 plus root 5 over 3.